Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is a new episode of Tesla Village, which, of course, this is a new episode. Every time you see a new one, it is a new episode. But I'll tell you what's new. Bosnia's got a new emperor. No, the old one did not die. This was of a special circumstance. That is the first time that's happened in the history of Tezilovich in this series, as well as the history of my career playing this game. And looking back on it, I think it would be considered as possibly one of the biggest boneheaded moves that have ever happened in this empire, which thank goodness it did not erupt into civil war. So now this young boy emperor is the great Ostoya. Ostoya the Great. Yes. He's, he's just barely eight years old, and he's only been reigning for about three years, and already they call him the Great. Why the Great? It's because he was the winner of the Crusade. My father is still alive. Vertigo the Great. You may remember him. Well, he's the commander of the Teutonic State, and he is the heir to the Teutonic State. He could be the new Grand Master. Never once this ever happened in the history of, of our family. Where we got a guy who once ruled the most powerful empire in Europe, as he claims, and now he he might soon become the Grandmaster, if he lives long enough. And because of this, he's disqualified from retaking that throne, despite all the strong claims, and I inherit those claims now. <laughs> so what happened was, during the crusade for Rutania, or Kievan Rus, that's now called, it's been retaken, which is now currently held by King Nikita, which we brought Rostislav, which he was killed in action by, and that's not the local, um, for Crusader State of Kievan Rus. Here, we brought him back to the throne, now it's led by this boy. During that crusade, due to his zealous nature, he was called by the Lord, and he decided to abdicate his throne to Ostoya, me. And he's gone off to the Teutonic Order to serve in the Teutonic State, which currently they're at war, defending, uh, defending the Finnish people from being invaded by the Norse. Novgorod is there too, and my father is out there. He's in. He's in Sumi right now. He's going to save the Finnish people. Because he'd love the Finnish people. He's a friend of it. Which a matter of fact, they still have a non aggression pact between Julius and Princess Christina. To reiterate, this is my Dalmatian uncle, one of my Dalmatian uncles. Yeah. That's, that's one of my Dalmatian uncles. I have another Dalmatian uncle. Hold on, let me go back to him. Yep, Giuliano. My other Dalmatian uncle, who's one of the Bosnian commanders. Ugly bastard, but he's strong and he's a crusader. <laughs> but uh, he's a cavalry leader, which we have many cavalry leaders here. And some inspiring ones too, but we ain't got no organizer, but I'm looking to go get one right now. And I'm not going to be betrothed to anybody, I'm not worried about that. As we have my baby sister Stana. Again, this is Ostoya Vertkovic Tezlovich, the great boy emperor. And earlier, if I... If you saw the previous episode, I left you about a possible intervention to to join up with the Christian allies to take on Britannia. Well, based on the numbers of France, Holy Roman Empire, Papacy, and, uh, and them as well, Romania, and there's only 50,000 of them. I was thinking, I think they could do it. I think they can hold them off. If I do not see the war score difference to go on the on the right side, the Catholic side, I'm going to intervene, although it might be too late for that, because by the time we get everyone here, or at least try to set sail to England, then, um, well, that's another piece of territory lost. Unfortunately. 
and we hope for the Nordic Crusades to continue, to continue mopping up the rest of Svetil. And I even thought about fighting a holy war against Norway. Because, you know, I need some combat. We need some action. So a holy war for Transylvania will do. Let's do that. No hesitation. Because Serbia is busy defeating the armies of the Norwegians up there. So I thought, well, let's take advantage of this. Philistia. Yep. Jerusalem was briefly Shia Muslim when we last left the episode. However, there are a few holdings um, that belong to the Abbasids. These Abbasids, which, in about two decades, they may call for. Sh I was about to say Shia Jihad, but I have a habit of. Oh boy, they're expanding. The Africans can't hold them. They had a strong contingency, but they don't. We gotta figure out how do we stop those expansionists and let the Africans be saved. Unless the Abbasids get them done and fight each other for supremacy. And Andalusia, ran by the Croats, are doing very well. Both Tilzids are now a shadow of their former self. It's almost like the Reconquista is almost complete. And Tunis has fell to Sicily, Orthodox Sicily, ran by the evil. And now he wants these, these pieces of territory back. Kick them out of there and, uh, <laughs> and Philistia. Oh boy, that's all I gotta say about that. Ooh, effin' boy. Oh, anyways, it's good this war over with. I made a non-aggression pact with Sumi due to marriage relations. This is the organizer we need. She may be an Anglo-Saxon, which is their typical Cathars, but surprisingly she's Catholic. Just have her around. Go up there and beat them up while we try to get everyone here. Oh no, Serbia's finished their war, so now the Norwegians are committed. Incorrect. They're dealing with French as well. Do this example again. Four army groups. Get your own county, everybody. The Serbs took control of that area, thank goodness. Uh oh. Turn around. Again with this uh, Dalmatians of Zadar. This is the third time in this reign. 
What is causing them to revolt so damn much? Incompetent ruler. No wonder. You can't even take care of your own populace. Okay, fine. We'll deal with those guys again. Oh, it's something I had this much. It's late at night. I get out of bed to use the chamber pot. Uh, Koyeva starts calling my name, and I see a man hiding under the dining table. He notices me and whispers, Psst, go over here. Uh, this is not an assassination, is it? Yeah. She's calling me. And this Frenchman, who is a commander of ours, possessed, zealous. Well, I don't think he's a member of the Welsh Society. I, I think he's one of those um, you know. Oh, I'll hide with the man. She stops calling after a while. The man says, oh, "I bet you this gold coin that you can't hold your breath until I'm outside." Hmm. Easy money. Before I knew it, the man was running out through the door, and he didn't even look back at once. I win. Easy. <laughs> Play ball. Uh, thank you, uh, Monsieur. <laughs> yeah, and then there she comes, as I said. She was calling me. A lot of zealous people these days. Oh, I forgot to mention, now that I'm a new, uh, emperor, all the artifacts, they're gone. That's right, they're gone. My father, Vertigo, he took all the artifacts. The artifacts that has been with the Tezilovich family for generations. He took them all to the Teutonic Order. Which means, should he die, um, he, the Grand Master, whoever it is, the Hulkmeister, is going to inherit all this stuff. Great for him, but not great for the Empire. So, when I turn 16, first order of business. Get new crown jewels. And write a book. Do a lot of things. The Arrow Cleansing Flame. Now begin the siege. While we take care of the. You got the wrong county! While we take care of the Dalmatian people here. You gotta get over there and start chasing the enemy down. Only we could recruit you, but Rector wouldn't like that. Title claimant. You have a claimant on Zahumia? Well, that's a little bull. Where did you come up with that? There's no way on fabrication. Oh my goodness! Look at all these plots. None of them against me, right? Tell me, soft has a little bitch. None of them gets me. Fabricate the claim on Kingdom of Croatia, Bosnia, something. You know, you may want to see him get back home and, uh, you know, got to review more plots. <laughs> may never know there could be assassination for me. See, I'm a great emperor, as so they say. That's in Sardinia. Well, 
All right, where's the enemy army? There they are. Go across the river. Vita Cho will, will be there, and so is my Dalmatian uncle and the Anglo-Saxon. Yes! Hold back. Alright, obligate the vessel. Thank you. They're right on our backyard. No sneaking. Sons of bee waxes. You know, we need Vita Cheddar. Bosnia is mainly mountains, so she'll do better in mountain terrain. And bring her with you. And this guy as well. That's right, you better run. You better run back to your ships before there's going to be a lot of, you know, a lot of mayhem. It's hills, but they'll still do. Didn't know you're still up there. All right, there's the king. King Harada. At least it's not her hydrata. Alright, one more battle should do. I'm gonna kick your ass one more time before we to surrender. The armored chariot. I received a report in the outcome of military experience that my marshal asked me to sponsor. Apparently a large steel plated chariot was constructed, propelled by ten men, and it's on pulling it forward. Directed by a commander peering out a revolving turret mounted on top. This vehicle also had several ballistas firing through all slits, though ending up being too slow and expensive for actual wartime point still provides some valuable lessons. Alright. I think we should up on heavy infantry. Better combat. After we defeated him, Garage there. Good timing. Transylvania is ours. And we usurp the title. Well, this area, anyhow. Create the Duchy of Transylvania. Places that we've heard it kicked all the north out. I don't think that's a good idea. Guy doesn't like me. Serbia, definitely. Oh, we'll deal with that in a moment. And you want the duchy? You get the duchy. What if I were to do this? So when he dies, the time is going to go back to me. Oh yeah. 34. 
Oh, you'll live. It'll lower all of my feudal duke and king subjects' opinion. Oh, percent. I see. Okay, what does a Dutch voice royalty would hurt anyhow? I see. No harm in that. And I'll make you spy master as well. So you'll like me even more. I remember the people who used to run Transylvania. Oops, wrong one. Uh, we're going to be looking for somebody of culture. That is obviously of my religion group. And you ought to be willing to join the court or else. I was about to say, I didn't know these people still exist. Well, she's a giant, huh? I mean, if if it's not the Vatches, which I was thinking, I guess people of that culture are near extinction. I mean, if it ain't them, then I guess I'll give it to the Avars. And I know there's plenty of Avars around here. All women, anyhow. Not the men. What the heck? Okay, what about Bulgars? I mean, I know there's plenty of them. I mean, that's their majority culture. Bulgar. We're a peasant leader. Yeah, screw it. Just, just settle it with that. Invite them to court first. You know what? Give me that giant watch woman, too. Because, you know, giant... How you feel about running Transylvania? You'll be fine. Kaboom. Oh, sh I forgot about. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> All the little things. Okay, okay. We'll settle this in, in a jiffy. Give me a moment. There we go, I, I created all the little new vassals for all the cities and bishoprics and stuff. And, uh, get over here. And, uh, and I transferred all of the Vassilage to him, the new Duke of Transylvania, so nobody can get mad. See, this is why I got a brain. Well, most of the time, matter of fact, how old am I? Nine years old. I'm still relatively young, so... W one little quick holy war was a good one. Oh, no. The, the, the Brits. Did they lose? Oh, sh They took it, too. 50,000 strong. I could declare war against them for... Oh, I could do great conquests. More. Oh, up there. I think. They have parts of Pomerania. That. And France. Again, I can't declare anything. Or even a holy war up there. Well, time to do something real. No, 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 can't do that. Just wait till you're an adult, all right? From now on, sit there and do nothing and skip a lot, all right? There's nothing you can do much as a child.
as well as keeping vassals out of this. Sit there, do nothing, everything will be all sh Lovely Emperor, why are you calling me lovely? I ain't that lovely. You don't even know me. Odd rector. Of a freaking embargo war. 62,000 of them. A holy war for Arabia. It's for that. And that's attacking the rector. Who holds a bit of this. And the ragu's in control. And it's nice to see that the Adriatic's in center parts of the Mediterranean is ragu's in control. Nice to see that. you got to be insane to be thinking of such things. He's got the money. He's got the mercenaries. He can handle himself. And he's dealing with Venice already. Well, we have good strength. We're well rested. So fine. I'll join. But I ain't gonna like it. St. Jordan was often followed around by a dog, which was never seen eating, drinking, or interacting with anyone but St. Jordan. Stories uh, go that Jordan was conversed with this creature from God, and was taught how to go through life as a virtuous and faithful man. A merciful niece, Prince Bishop. Known for his honest nature and having a wise dog he conversed with. <laughs> I don't know why I find it humorous, but he's the merciful one. I'm sure he'll be an inspiration to me. Oh, it's finally time for my uncle to marry um, Princess Christina. And Christina is here in Finland. Even though I would rather see my uncle go to... Just rather see go to Sumi. I don't, I don't know what I just said because sometimes I pay real attention. See, they're able to defend themselves. One day. He's gotta, he's gotta go down. They call him the devil. Oh man. Father. He's got the gout, but it's a mild illness, but he didn't get a good treatment. One thing's for certain, with the amount of traits he has, once he passes on, I see him being blessed. The first blessed Tesalovich in a long, long time. My father is like a living saint to me. And Mama's still raising me. Wait till everybody's here, then we'll start making advances against the business. Don't split up yet. Alright, we're gonna do two fronts. One there, and another there. We're playing outside today. And several of the other children are daring me to climb the tallest watchtower. Hmm. Hmm. This bastard boy who is of a Russian origin living in Bosnia. Yori. I'll get rowdy, so I might slip while climbing or go up and down like a squirrel. I ain't afraid. They call me the Great. Agile as a squirrel. I rapidly climb up the tower and then down again. Everyone's very impressed. Ha! I'm playful and rowdy. A 
But yeah, I like to be in engaging fun and games. And uh, prefer rough physical activity over common pursuits. Sounds about right. Right, off you go. You head to this front, and we're going to the other. God dang winter. Get down there. Yeah, I don't know if I really want to go down over there because, you know, setting my wrists and, you know, if they're down there, send up the master real quick. Are they really down there? Where are they? Better question is. Uh oh, they're there. Oh, mother. You know, I get the best commanders on there. Forget the retinue. now. Go to Demetrius. I guess the battle's going to take place here. This is going to be a big one. Once the moving is locked, move in. At least I was able to send a defender over there. You're all veteran crusaders, and I hope you know how to deal with some situation like this. And then again, I'm too young to be leading with me. This supply limit isn't big enough for the both of us. There you go, one first in Polish. They're over there. You go over there. Get the retinue with them. They've taken over Ragusa. But not the whole whole county. Yeah, you stay right there. He's, they're gonna go over there. They're gonna reunite with those guys. Should be in the center. They're going to try to take all the holdings. Stop them. I'm going to gamble on this. They have the Varagnan Guard with them. I can tell. Captain Hodostheos. Yep, Varagnan Guard's there.
those are salmons. We take it. All of it. Okay now. Let's get moving. Kicking their ass while we started there. Whatever. What do they get out of this? How much money do they have? I'm sure they'll get plenty for the uh, war reparation. Poland Holy War for Prussia. That's Prussia area. Would be nice. I'll accept it. Because I still have a bone to pick with these guys. And whenever you're going to start your North Crusade again. My father would be ready for his service. Controls all trade posts. the known trade post in Byzantine territory. It's just these three. Oh, and uh, Crete as well. Oh, one in Crete. They don't control this one, but they do control these two, so we'll go down there and liberate those trade posts. Well, I guess we should send uh, the navy to move the retinue. Yep, we're off the creek. Even if he's not a serb, but it's still an Ivakovic. These are the most pious of, of, of all of us. Oh, hell. Defeating Raguza's army and we're not even there to back him up. Oh, stop, stop, stop. There's a lot of them. Okay, they're going back.
Oh, it's time for my education. Well, I guess Marshall it is, and I'm gonna need a guardian who, who knows all. Of course, the veteran crusader, Vita Chan. Bastard! Sometimes it just grits my teeth whenever I just get to there and they're besieging their capital for loot. Not pull back. Oh, that's a bad idea. Don't worry, they'll be refilled. Just take two more of those holdings, just the city and the bishopric. And if they decide to, holy crap, they are sending everybody up there. Matter of fact, that's their whole army. That's all of them. They do not care for the southern holdings of for Philistia. They are either going to march to retake those territories or they're coming to Ragusa. You know, it's all back as well. That's everybody, everybody. I mean, mind or media, but... Man, Ragusa, why do you keep bringing me into such hectic situations? Is he an organizer? No. Just good at moving really fast. Money's been disappearing from the treasury. I suspect my regent princess voice Slava. But there's no proof. Oh, you're a pretender. But don't get me killed. Yeah, they're here to destroy Ragusa's army. Just, and things just keep getting worse from here. Hold your ground. Vita Chess says I'm growing stronger, but encourages me to be more courageous. Yes, I want to be brave like her. I mean, look, she's brave, she's a veteran crusader, a duelist. She even tells me the story about how she killed two uh, guys in one battle. It's gonna be just like her. More importantly, just like my father, who is still the commander. Which they're inactive right now. Yeah, you just take one more holding, then get them back home. And they're taking, uh, not the trade post, but my land. Which, what do they have to gain, honestly? They're here to get trade posts, not to conquer my territory. It means nothing.
And I wonder when they're going to bring their um, huge army into Crete. Because that would be great. They're going to retake the rest of their territories and they're going to start marching into Ragusa. Which, as a matter of fact, I think we should pull back and let's, you know, give them a welcome invitation. We're just going to let them waltz in there, send our two armies, and crush them. That's what we're going to do. I don't know about this. Mm -hmm. My attempt to try to put them down. If the rebellion starts, then... Everything is going to go to hell in a handbasket. One would think, I wish my father never left Bosnia. Now Norway's joined in because of that holy war, which is bringing everybody here. Okay, get back over here. Get back home. Der there's trouble afoot. Right on this way, just in case. That was quick. Whoa, no, 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 no. Yeah, let them retake their holdings, and uh, I guess it'll start over. We did take out most of their armies and their bragging guard, but it ain't over yet. Why are we winning? Well, all the trade posts are under their control. As I said, just try to hope that they will waltz into Ragusa and... Um, and we're going to kill them all. They're taking the holdings of Crete again. Your move, Basilis. Or they could be taking care of that host. Good God. Get on the vice royalty again. There they are. Because the mercenary is getting beat again. I think the waiting game isn't a good idea after all. Because of this damn war. Okay, you know what? 
it. <laughs> Forget it, we're transferring to a different front. They'll lose their trade post and they can get it back. Let's help out the Polish. We're withdrawing. Forget about this war. It's not worth wasting our lives on. This is more important, because look at that. Look at how much of these heathens we can kill. If we can beat them, then Northern Crusades will start again. Get over one over here. Oh, damn it. It's already locked. Hold am I anyway? Fourteen. This field is a real enemy. Killing these guys, good, but real targets up there. To retake that, try to get the Prussian holdings for them. In fact, do that right now. I always love playing with others, and I still do. And people seem to like me. One would say reputation supersedes it. for supply limited reasons. All right, get him. Guess you're joining that battle too while you go this way. We'll go up to Mirenberg. set of troops they've uh, got now. Damn supply limit. We have to assault it if we want to reduce it, but however, there could be problems too. Man, I don't know what's worse. More men needed fleeing dying. That's what I want less of these days. Well then we can't do that now, can we? Okay, screw it, see what happens. Stop. Unacceptable losses. You take the place. It's gonna happen. 
this big rebellion which uh, we tried so hard to to prevent it. It's going to happen regardless. What's your reason? Yeah, I'm sorry about this whole raised vassals deal because there's so many out there. Abbasid Holy War for Armenia. Finally, a war that's going to keep them busy. Maybe we will have to go home after all. This is why I didn't leave for Europe, and yet Britannia is going to expand. All my damn fault. Vertigo should have never left. Hey, you do the sieging. And if Poland gets into trouble, the retinue will help. We're not going to help anymore. We have to go home. We have to get the hell out of the... of all fronts. The possible rebellion's gonna come up and... everything's gonna go to hell in a handbasket, as I've said many times before. Besides that, is there any single plot against me? I kill or fabricate claim of? Look for target. If he's there's any my name. No, not all. Well, there's a lot of prison. And there's some money. That we can do anything out of. Yeah, sorry about the misunderstanding. Stay there and try to reinforce all these soldiers so the threat level can go down. This is all Raguza's fault. I know it's a tributary state, but it gives us a lot of money. What's, but these are embargo wars. Like I should have just, just, you know, leave them to the wolves. They just became independent right under our noses. Huh. Women do not interest me. Instead, I feel drawn to other men. I like them more. Dang it. They won't let me stop being homosexual. Instead, it just pops right up. Just have bad life choices. What the hell are we doing still? I mean, let's just stand down all the troops before people are going to get mad and eat more than they have to be. Let's only rely on the rest of
Got to be a man soon. She's been killed. Okay, help with their siege. Zahumia prospers. The prosperity of Zahumia has prompted the increasing desire for a great library in that country so that learned people there can always find entertainment. Knowledge is power. What on earth? You sneaky sons of bee waxes. Talking about the papacy over there. Everybody wants to bully Ragusa. Regency is finally ended. I've finished my education in the ways of war and I feel I've truly found my calling. War is a continuation of politics. And yet they call me the Great for whatever reason. But I picked up heavy infantry later, which is great. But I'm gonna go hunt. That's what I need to do these days. And give me a new set of crown jewels, because we have the money for it. And we're gonna get a few more right now. Oh, hell. They're gonna gang up on him. A famous herald, well versed in diplomatic protocol, has arrived in our court. He is proposing a service to us, and this chamber says that we can make good use of this man. Alright, you know, so I'll who you are. <laughs> yeah, right. What these guys need is the Teutonic Order, the Polish I'm talking about. You get the same education as well. Beat the chest, though. Right? Oh my god, we're going to experience a massive civil war, whether if it's going to be for independence or it's for Miroslav. I need to make some friends and start swaying some people. Wants to over the Duchy of Croatia, well why didn't you say so? Now the question is, how... Do I control the Duchy of Croatia? Because I don't have it. Somebody else has it. See? He has it. Duchy of Croatia. Okay, where are you? Where are you? Well, I'm sorry you can't get them. What's, uh, what war are you on? Okay. Surrender to Bohemia right now. Yeah, it's about time you start taking care of your vessels. Yet they call me the Great. Just hang on. I know what to do. I hope.
you get a minor tunnel. Just so that we don't give out much these days. Now every single one of them is going to have it. Any people want to be on the council? Okay, prove me your skills. You can be the chancellor. Okay, that's you. Yeah, we're fixing those problems right now. You want to be on the council? What do you got? I see you being a, a spy master. What else? He's not a powerful vassal. Oh hell, why aren't you Chancellor? Well then, I hope everyone's going to be happy about this. If not, then... Oh well. We'll have to kill them all. <laughs> As if this solves everything. Hmm. At least they moved their capital to Upland. How's my father doing? Man, if my father somehow, in some way, is able to come back, which he never will, come back to Bosnia and see his empire just crumble like that. Just end the damn war. And Croatia wants the Duchy of Croatia back. If I can even get him somehow. Not possible because Bohemia has it. So, there's no way you can get it back now. I mean, I can't do a coordination ceremony without having to end those two wars up there. Well, one up there and the other, another down there. That's what I mean. Also trying to get me some new crown jewels, so spare no expense. Oh boy. Had a first thing out of the while. Prince Vesco and I left the main party, walked down a nearby stream, chatting with them. The hours later, sitting on a cliff together, watching the water flow. A strange tense in Scroll between us. Attraction for another man. As we go to leave, he suddenly leans uh, in and whispers something in my ear. Oh my god, no! Look. Look here, man. You threatened rebellion and now you want it. No! <laughs> Easy there, big fella. That's all I gotta say about his uh, proposal. I do not recall asking a patrol. You son of a... Break that. Can't do that. It's forced. I to kill that boy. Also, out of everybody here, who should I sway? 
Nitra. Totally forgot about Nitra. So I'll sway you. Well, meanwhile, a lot of people are gonna die. At least you'll have the defender. Have some inspiration. This is Plains territory. Yeah, this will do. I was overcome by the excitement and curiosity when Bogdan informed me the crown jewels were completed. As I'm waiting in my throne, for servants to carry the great box across the room, I struggle not to leap up and meet them halfway. When I finally touch the heavy lid, my hands are shaking. All right, Regalia, worthy of the true emperor. There we go. Got the crown of majesty. Oh, put this on. Um, crown of majesty, emerald scepter, and sword of heroes. I still have the armor, but we'll get a better one in the future. But I'm not going to be leaving in the front. I'm not ready for that. Successfully defended against them. But the king was killed in action. And I'm sorry it had to end this way. Civil War just started. I mean, oh, thank goodness that'll keep them busy. Don't know if that's a good idea, following these guys. Aha! Uh -huh. We gotta join these neutral forces and we'll beat them back. You killed someone. Oh, gee. I feel sorry about you. You threatened the vassal. So, this giant rebellion isn't going to happen anytime soon. Thank goodness. Praise the Lord. I would rather see the heathens be beaten rather than. Trade posts. The plus two wax. My first weapon. There you go. There's something for a while. 
So you get yourself a better weapon. And they got Prussia. Alright. Let's get out of here. Yeah, this war down here, lost cause. Do not raise troops. I'm tired of this. This is a pretty fragile empire we're living in these days. Yeah, tell them about my bravery. I just can't do a coordination ceremony yet. And the Tesloviches are back in power. For now. Yeah, they're taking a bunch of my holdings, which are going for trade posts. Also, who died? Oh, one of our commanders. In order crusades ongoing for Smala. Well, we beat him so much, so it's about time they do something. Where is that at? Oh, this area. That's what the Teutonic State's going for next. Well, don't look for any possible intervention anytime soon. I think they can... I think they'll do fine. I'm just glad to be home, alright? Want nothing to do with the, this whole thing. So, they've lost all the trading posts. Not gonna win against the papers. Uh uh, don't ask me for it. Just let me do my coronation ceremony and that's it. Only the Pope is fit to crown me, which is Sylvester the Fourth, the Just. God dang it, I'm gonna have a battlefield coordination for this. It's your fault. Okay, now I have found a distinguished member of the Cavalcourage of the Appreciated Rights, which is time to organize the ceremony itself. Unfortunately, the necessity is imposed by the war I'm waging will force me to only have a small gathering of my closest allies to witness this momentous occasion. At least the Marshal comes. <laughs> She's the only one. Hey, let's be friends. All right, we're friends. Made my first friend. <laughs> As if Senator Carno in his place was not, wasn't not enough of a sight from the Holy Father. The papal envoy himself proved to be the most insufferable man. Yeah, constantly complaining about the lack of care he's receiving and recanting all the many dangers I'm exposing him by having this coronation held in the middle of the war. That was very rude of him to say. Although, well, it was only more. He's blessed. Italy can handle that. That's the yells of the commanders drilling troops echo the tent. Pope Sylvester, the fourth envoy, gave me a quick blessing and Summary places the crown on my head, proclaiming me Emperor Bosnia by the grace of God. I'm finally and truly Emperor. Part of me thinks that I wish my father never left Bosnia. And don't get married soon. over. Now you go do with that problem of yours. How's my uh, little sister doing? She 
she's doing fine. Can't give her Tony Slav, I just don't want her to have this. It's too risky. Yeah, we'll support your little problem, and that's it, alright? Nothing to do with it. Not smart enough to compose a book, unfortunately. But I need a better weapon. people don't like me these days. Forage the weaponsmith from Bukovar. Huh. Once I real I realized when I was rather too young I would never find a woman attractive. The comfort of love I saw couples share felt on my reach to I met a man who felt as I did. But <laughs> then again this homosexual stuff. That's a problem. Nothing out of it. Now get me an axe. And I want the very best. The best that can offer. Okay, now go in after him. Huh. Talking about my mother. At least Mama still loves me. It's not my concern, really. can have peace, truly. So I can go do other things in life. My other Dalmatian uncle, who hasn't done much of his life. So yeah, you can go t to be a knight of uh, Santiago. Hmm. Now, the Northern Crusade is still ongoing. As I entered the gates, I was greeted by a large barking dog. My horse was frightened, and I started to rear. Just about to draw my blade to slay the beast, when I saw my spy master Benzegoy come running something. Bad dog! This is our friend that we're supposed to protect. And then the dog started barking and rolled around, placidly around its back. Good dog. There we go, guard dogs for assassination prevention. He's still out there, and I hope he's still kicking ass. Last time he killed somebody was an assassination order. <coughs> so this one. He had an axe named Marauder. There was a cleaver given by to the Finn. My every foe shall fear the Ravager. Yes, the Ravager. A long, double-bladed axe named Ravager. Crafted with high quality steel, the axe will wreak havoc among my enemies. Now all I need is some better quality armor and then uh, I am complete. Yeah, I'm in, bro. To 
bet I can't break the patrol because in favor I can't assassinate him. What? What is? Okay, he just grew up. I mean, it's a jackass move to try to do imprisonment, and yet everybody's gonna say, Tyrant, at me. But look, I think everyone has settled down. There are no factions. Oh boy. Okay, you know what? This is the first and only time I'm gonna do it, and this is gonna be the way to end this episode. They call him the Great, huh? He's a homosexual, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because it was because it was out of my control. I don't want her to be married to this guy. He may be a Tesalovich, but the claimant is too dangerous. Or I can antagonize him. Screw it, just, just... I mean, you're getting overboard on imprisonments and assassinations. There is such thing as the antagonize option, you know? Novgorod was pagan again. And now it's, uh, Catholic again. Alright. Glad to see that. Yeah, antagonize somebody of my own kin, just to prevent this guy from marrying my sister. At least we make a lot of money these days. This is a what? Prepared invasion of Lithuania. The Prussia area, right. I guess they've accomplished another of their crusades again. I was hoping to kill them so that way they can declare another Northern Crusade again. Okay, we'll do that on the next episode, which, man, I think I begin to regret my decision for, you know, Vertigo went to the, uh, went to become a member of the Teutonic State, and I, and I guess I prevented a civil war from erupting, but I'm still young, in my future, Personally, who's going to be, eh, I'll find someone to marry. I'll think about that. Oh, and get Bavaria back. Because that was part of our empire. We want it back. So we hope you see you in the next episode. Till then, so long for now.